Oh, it's that's actually it. insane. We're we back. have bands and we banned Twitch and Jackal. Actually, guys, fun fact: if you didn't notice, there's an update to the TTS that has a nerf for Jackal, folks. Hey, I like it. Oh yeah, tell them about the nerf for Jackal. All right, I'll bring up. Wait, the when is that going to well. be live? Uh, it's on. It's on the uh, test server right now. Okay. But uh, so. They also banned Pulse Out, which that should be pretty rudimentary for but for the people wondering why they banned Pulse Out. Well, the main reason is because on Cafe in particular, there's a lot of verticality to it. You can use that Nitro Cell extremely well to kill people inside of Christmas, in particular from the mid-floor when they are going to be attacking Bar and Cocktail. <laughs> okay, the entire the entire lobby is loading. What is <laughs> what is happening? Blame blue. Somebody's gonna crash, dude. Someone's someone's gonna crash. Somebody's right somebody's hamster needs to run faster. Someone's i three processor is on his last breath. I'm trying to think of the. I'm trying to think of like the worst processor off the top of my head. <laughs> I can't even think of it. Yeah. What's so, what's like? What did they use in like like of like uh, Windows ninety eight PC, Windows ninety five PC? Yeah. Someone that? someone on know Windows XP right now. Like their game is. Oh. 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 Defenders, the, your okay, we're the in the game. game. All right, we're in the video game. Stokes, this is it, the first game of the day. Katsu against How Big long Fan. have we been live? You've been live for 37 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what a day. It's already been a day. Somebody give me a stunt double. Appreciate it. All right, I'll pull those up for you guys in just a second here, so I can tell you guys exactly what happened to Jackal. Is Jackal in play? Oh, right. Well, you know uh, no, Jackal got, I believe Jackal, yeah, Jackal got banned out by Katsu. So the change to Jackal now is that uh, the he only gets a certain amount of pings for how old the uh, footmarks are on the ground. So if the red ones that are 15 seconds or younger, uh, then he gets it for, uh, he gets five pings for the full amount of time, just like he does always right now. Uh, if you get yellow footprints, which are 16 seconds to 30 seconds old, you get four pings. Green print, which is 31 to 60, you get three pings. Blue print, uh, 61 to 90 seconds, uh, is two pings. And then also he can't uh, get footprints, footprints vertically anymore. You can't shoot to the floor and see footprints above you. Uh, and also he can choose to actually keep the information to himself, which only allows the ping to be seen by him. But he also gets your footprints like that like ma basically make a line to you. So. A little bit of different usage of him, but I, I like the changes. Yeah, and with Jackal being such a strong operator, banning him on a map <laughs> like Cafe makes so much sense because there's a lot of roam play as you were talking about at the beginning of the stream. Also, they uh, got rid of his breaching charges and they gave him a claymore. Okay. So he has a little bit left soft destruction because he, he still has that secondary shotgun. Yeah, exactly. So, well, I that's mean, why because like breaching seen. charges and a secondary shotgun, that man had so much utility. It was insane. The, the devs are listening, chat. Trust me. They, they're, they're just trying to make things, you know, slow and steady. They don't want to mess things up, just like Nuttius just had his face messed up by six. So that's going to start us off here. And that's actually Jaeger, who is completely outside. I don't really know why he chose to try and hop out so early on here. Maybe it's that he saw six on repel. But, again, we're not in game. We really don't know. They do have Christmas control now as Ash has repelled on the southern windows. And what a shot from Habibi right under the pixel angle of Cordell. All right, so with that being the first game of the day, excuse me, second kill of the round, big fans already down by two players. Katsu looking pretty good so far, even despite losing the first round due to coming into the game late. But Meow win. He's going to be holding things down over in bar with Legion, so the Goomai is going to be extremely effective once Katsu start to make their push. Meow, the guy I was talking about, is going to knock down Mackerel. Beautiful headshot. But they're going to need to get one more kill in order to tie things up. We know a little bit of utility is currently in play, and the gunfire is starting to roar heavily. Well, they still have Cigar locked down, but still plenty of work to be had. We saw Meow drop down, rotates over to White. Very smart of him, instead of trying to stay in Bar, which was a very dangerous location. Finding some safe harbor, though, on the other end of things. Over to the southeast. Six and the rest of the squad, though, trying to hold down New Drop. Jarden with a peek from heaven will take him down, and all of a sudden we're at equal man count. We're going to have the freezer wall open now, so we still have plenty of utility to be had by the offense, but he's already taking quite a bit of damage. He does have the diffuser, so might want to give that up as to have somebody else plant that has a little bit more HP, because otherwise Jarden can more than likely get a kill with one of his evil eyes and those lasers. Only 17 seconds left now in the round as things are going to have to get 
picked up pretty, pretty quickly here. Jarden going to continue on line things okay, down with that Alda and then trying to make the move. Quick fires through. Nitro Cell will actually confirm it. It's going to oh. now win on a rotate for big fans to pick up the very first round. Big fans with the amazing play from not only Meow wins Legion, but the Maestro. The Maestro was able to get a 2K and Meow just seemed to be everywhere. These guys are, they're, they're gamers. I, I can, yeah, I can tell you Meow plays very weird. Unorthodox very weird, might yes. be a good thing at times. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But he's He just plays very, very weird. Like, that was a very aggressive area to be holding down inside of bar to start things off. I mean, he's playing on the closest, uh, well, kind of just like bar desk, I guess. You really can't call it a bar because obviously there's no drinks there. Yeah. So just a kind of like side table area. He's playing up close to the door and getting very aggressive on Cigar into Christmas on a very awkward angle that obviously no one's going to know because right. you would assume no one's going to be in practical no man's land because if they peek you from the skylight, you just die. <laughs> so, luck, you know, it, a very awkward bombs, place to can. be, but it worked out for him in the end, able to get a kill inside of a Cigar and then drop down, rotate over towards White, gets aggressive towards the actual bathroom area, makes himself a nice little path through the tracks, ends up bagging a kill. But overall, I would say Katsu had what they needed in order to force a plant. They just didn't go about it correctly. They had Freezer open. All they really had to do was hold the cross and make sure that Mute could not possibly move up to get that Nitro Cell. And they didn't try and get aggressive towards the actual site instead of actually, instead they just went for the objective-based play when they should have went a little bit more aggressive yeah, because there was a lot of utility three. still on the board for the defense. And the funniest thing about that entire stop with the C4 to stop the plant from going down is the fact that we don't see a lot of big plays coming in towards bar from the defenders. That area is usually cleared out. But with Maestro holding that long peak angle and getting that second kill, they, they pretty much cleared everything out in order to make that happen. But here we are in the third round. Katsu down by two. Let's not make it three. And at six, he's going to work his way over to the third floor. This is pretty much basic. You have to work your, set, you work your way, excuse me, from top to bottom. If you can successfully do that, clear out the room. If there are any, you can get down, ask some verticality by going over towards mining and train and using soft destruction to shoot down at the defenders and the rest of the attacking players down low can get in the site to clean up the frags. Like this hold downstairs by big fans right now, just playing it horizontally, working some shields as well as that castle magic that we know and love, being able to shut down those long areas of sight line. Oh, quick shots now from Meow again on, any, on these off angles. This man seems to know his lineups for Cafe especially. And Six, definitely finding out now, especially where that man is aiming from. But again, it's all in Katsu to try and get down towards sight. They're now on soft destruction duty upstairs. A little bit of rework. Possibly some uh, floor change is needed. But they do have Macro of Katsu, obviously, on the IQ. Rocking the electronics detector, able to get quite a bit of utility through the floor since it is soft. She is extremely prominent on these types of sites. Macro of this Twitch is going to be valuable when it comes to shooting down and getting rid of those banded batteries. That way, Katsu, they're going to be able to utilize their hard breach to get in the site that much easier over towards Freezer. We're working his way down towards coat check. He's peeking in it. It's six. He's not going to get into an engagement at the moment, but ever so closely. Ooh. Yes, he got peeked in. He got the kill. 5v4 already, but time is starting to run low. I'm going to say Costa. They're in a great spot, opening up hatches. Well, now they have freezer open, but still plenty of time and a lot of defenders to go through, especially with a lot of utility. The Valkyrie kills nice to start things off, but they still have Bandit to worry about. That's another Nitro Cell off the board, as well as Jaeger to fall in tandem. Now all of a sudden this becomes a lot easier. Only Castle and Smoke to worry about. Granted, Smoke very close in that clo good in that close range. He tries for the shotgun shot. They've already downed one. It's all left up to Bay. See if he can possibly use these Toxic Babes to get out of dodge. No, he can't. That's going to be a flawless round for Katsu to start off round three. That was pretty flawless, and that was... Pretty easy for Katsu. Um, they, excuse me, as they, big fans, they apply no pressure coming in from above. So, yeah, you have IQ up top wreaking havoc, and who's there to stop her? Usually when we see a down low site, we have a lot of presence of top to slow them down at least. And if they're not trying to get kills on the third floor or even trying to catch them on rotation on the second floor, you at least, least have to apply pressure up top when it comes to nitro cells and also impact needs. And that wasn't done at all. We're going to go to second floor this time around. All right, well, we're going to Reading Room Fireplace Hall, which is the site that we were talking about a little bit earlier on. It's that dining room as well as the library that's right across from it, one of my favorite sites on this entire map. There's a specific reason why. The verticality in this site in particular 
It's a very big deal. You can play dining from below, downstairs inside of kitchen, but there's also a lot of vertical pressure that you can apply to the site overall. Upstairs inside of bar as well as cocktail, a little bit inside of freezer to hold down the hallway if you really want to. So this site, you can play it a myriad of different ways. We'll have to see how the defensive big fans will go about it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna see any pulse on the board, but we are gonna have traps here and intel. There's a lot of intel, actually. You take a look at Valkyrie Legion and also Maestro. You have two Evil Eye cameras, you have three Valk cams, and you have a crazy amount of goo mines you can produce throughout the entire round. So, speaking of traps as well, we have smoke. Big fans, they have everything in their arsenal in order to stop Katsu this time around, and it shouldn't be this easy. But with Gridlock in play, rotations are going to be cut short if there are any type of roamers or people playing off-site aggressively. And Ash should be able to clean up a lot of work as well with the R4C. I really like this defensive setup that we've had so far. We have Bayou over inside of the actual manual, excuse me, train area with the shield able to hold down pillars. So it's going to be a very hard mid take for the offense of Katsu, but it does seem like they're prioritizing the top floor, which is, why wouldn't you? Oh, and Cordell's going to get caught with his pants down as he peeks the window right into Six. <laughs> Six going to hit him with the Pojo Man lol in chat. Cordell, I don't know exactly what you're doing, my friend, but I wouldn't advise ever trying to do that again. Valkyrie, with all the intel needed on her end, first blood. But there's still going to be a strong hold up top on the third floor, two to be exact. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Habibi just walks in and says, get out of my house. And one more player hiding behind the shield. The gunfire is coming in from Habibi. Unable to connect, thank God, to the shield being there. The attack is going to come heavy. His utility comes into play, and it looks like it's going to be a 4v1. Oh, Makarov. He's in bathroom all alone. No. Easy kill for him. He's going to rotate out right here, and here's your freebie. There you go. Very nice, Makarov. Going to rotate through bar. No Valkyrie cams, or at least no one on said Valkyrie cams inside to help him out. So Makarov going to tag up that free kill. Only halfway through the round. Roam clear already done, and they have all this vertical pressure that Big Fans was trying to apply downstairs if they did go for the mid hold and control. When two of your players get gunned down quite easily, you're the third up top, and you know that you're outnumbered. That's the time you need to run away. But, oh, a oh, little bit of the floor bang coming through, and Makarov's breaching charge isn't going to be in effect. So, big fans start to be aggressive from a floor under, but it's six. He's going to have their back in case any type of rotation comes around. And I'm not sure if he's going to find one because there is one player in the room that he's pre-gamed into. He's going to tag it. Maybe there's a drone there to call out that type of intel. Yeah, he seems like he's going to hold that angle for a long time as Makarov works his way down white steps, hopefully to get a pick. He's going to be in the face of a few defenders and stepping on the goo mine, the intel is there. But the pinch is currently going to come. It's six and another player also jumping down. And here it is, free kill for Mean Sama. His Bayou is going to get knocked out and working on the second. Makarov is going to help him out. That's going to be two straight rounds for Cats who got 10 kills straight. Yeah, and and big around. fans, yeah, they, they haven't gotten one. No. Pretty dominant. No, very, very dominant, as you were saying. And that's the way to also pinch out your last defender. They had the intel come in from two separate angles. If somebody loses out the gunfight, you immediately hop on it as to make it to where the defender cannot reload, therefore making the gunfight a little bit more difficult for them. Granted, he did not even get to see the time of day as Makarov immediately removed his head right before he could actually confirm his kill on the down six. So, rolling into round five now, we are going to be attacking Bar Cocktail this time around, which we saw big fans go to earlier on. So, a little bit of a different hold from them, as we said, Meow holding a very peculiar angle that was a lot closer to Sakaar than uh, was very comfortable for a lot of players. This time around, though, we'll have to see if they continue with that aggression or if they try and, you know, back it off just a little bit because Katsu really seems to be feeling themselves, and I don't think that big fans really wants to lean into Katsu's game plan. This is scary. It really is, because this is the tilting point. Yeah, you get one free round on defense. And, you know, you win the next. Katsu wins two straight on attack. And the saying is, if you can win one round on attack, that's great. If you can win two, <laughs> that's amazing. Like, you, you're put in a situation where you believe that this game is, is all yours by the time you go to defense. Because statistically, the defensive side is way easier to play than attack on this map. So big fans, they really cannot afford to lose anymore. But with this setup, taking a look at the lineup is kind of similar to the last, but this time around, we're going to incorporate Mozzie so he can hack drones. Valkyrie didn't work out well due to an early peak and a kill 
coming in from Katsu's Ash player. So fast switch, he's not going to give her a second chance. Instead, you're going to get Mozzie. Okay, so you guys saw Nuttius hopping up on the mini bar. There's a, spe a specific reason why. If you actually use that as a spawn peak and you don't see anybody, but you hear the repels down low on the western side of the building to that uh, immediate roof area where you see all the air conditioning tubing, you can actually shoot them as a repel up. Really? Yeah, if you stand on top of the minibar and break down that window for minibar, you can actually see down to the roof, and it's very difficult for them to shoot back because obviously when they come to the top, they're stuck in animation, and you just get a freebie because they chose to clamber the side of the building. They can't so, yes while they're... There you go. You guys can use that inside of your games. You're welcome. Stokes. Tips. 101. <laughs> you get them every USN. But quad on all fronts so far is big fans. They set up their defense. I wonder where the goo mines are currently present. My guess would be in front of Red Steps because we know that's exactly where the attack is going to be coming from. But the hard breach is going to be quite simple. He's back in the same spot, and I don't know if he knows it's counterable or not, or even Katsu knows that he's there, and they can actually get on that roof and work their way up the skylight. Going to get aggressive on Pixel, though. They need this Thermite alive, so I don't know why he's playing so aggressive. Six up close and personal right now. Throws a stun grenade, but he's actually going to end up full whiting himself. Now, before Mean Sama, though, gets a kill, it's already going to be another frag by Makarov, reading him like a book as Cordell goes down inside a bathroom. Makarov was looking like the absolute best right now was IQ, but... Uh -oh. IQ and Ash. Very uh, smart health, And utility. Ash is going to get naded out. Great utility and great plays from Meow ever since the first round this game. So big fans able to trade out that kill. And with Macro at low health, it's going to help them out. But what's that helping? It's Habibi catching fire, taking out one of the best players on big fans at the moment. It's all down to the supportive unit. Bayou and Jarden. We've seen Jarden come up big, but Bayou's not going to have the chance as he gets his life whisked away and soon to follow suit is the last remaining member. And Katsu almost on a perfect round once again if it wasn't for six walking into the line of fire inside of Stagar. Three straight on attack. Yeah. That is not supposed to happen. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. Yeah, a good split for this map is 4-2. Leaning towards the defense. Even though they're a bad split for the defense is 3 3 or 5 1 or 6 0. Oh, but obviously, we can't get 6 0 oh or 5 1. We can go 4 2. And if that leans towards the offense, this is basically Katsu saying, We have the money in the bag. Pretty much going back to third floor where Katsu have dominated. Um, with all the traps and everything in the way, it's not going to mean anything as long as the Makarov is on the board. And Makarov isn't only doing well shooting out utility, but also slaying out in that role. Defenders there was another pick, and yeah, we're going to have Gridlock Zofia in the game. Echo is going to be chosen. Oh, we're going to get two of the big anchors. And I actually didn't see the ban phase because we started off with a one-round win for big fans, and we didn't see the ban phase. But Pulse is out, along with Twitch. Twitch, really good on this map, by the way. But um, it's mostly due to her F2. I can see the Twitch drone being great when it comes to hunting down Yokai drones and Evil Eyes. So, knocking her out the mix and making Maestro a formidable defender here. I mean, that's a really smart move. But taking a look at the stats so far, pretty much even all around for Katsu. Um, Natsuki, yeah, he's not having, you know, four kills and two Ks, but he's doing such a great job for the role that he's playing in. Apologies about that. I was about to... Yeah. Anyways, despite that, we are going to be jumping into round six here and... Same, well, relatively speaking, offensive lineup from Katsu, all except that Six has moved himself away from a hollow site in an R4C over to an M762, or the AK, as everyone knows, for Zofia's primary. Uh, with Zofia, two number two speed, practically just a better version of IQ, uh, of Ash, not IQ, apologies. Uh, with a little bit more utility, she has impacts, she also has concussions, a claymore, what is there not to love about this op? I mean, again, it's a, it's a list of utility that just goes on and on and on. And she's a favorite of a lot of professional players, and that's a big reason why, is they just love things that have multiple different uses, they aren't just one niche thing. She's kind of a blanket operator, there's no reason not to take her. Yeah. So that's one reason that she is a fan favorite. So the setup that we're seeing right now from big fans is pretty similar to what we saw in the Space Station Gaming versus Secret Game over in Raleigh. Yeah, you put a shield up top in front of White Hallway and your Jaeger player, or what made you have it playing that position, it's going to be their job to really hold things down over in Piano Slash Christmas, but big fans haven't been able to do that, and it's pretty interesting. I wonder where the Evil Eye placements are currently. I wonder if they're in the default spots.
But Jarden, he is always in the mix. You see him peeking all the time. So it's not like he's playing a hard support. Seems like he's playing a hard fraggy grill on my stuff. Yeah, he's just trying to go for those long gunfights with that Alden. Why wouldn't you? Again, you have 81 bullets. It's an amazing weapon. We've seen that time and time again, and he's trying to prove it all. As BB's going to walk into a goo mine, and it's always dangerous when you're at such low HP. They've kind of stunted their growth inside of Christmas right now. Still don't have Freezer Wall open here, and there honestly shouldn't be any reason why they don't at this point, unless we obviously had to have the Thermite use more than one X Kairos, or excuse me, Thermite charge on the wall here. He has, still has one, so I'm still surprised that they don't have this wall open. They're just more or less sitting here and waiting for someone to walk into them. They already got a kill onto Meow, so that's going to open up Bar a little bit, as he's been playing the exact same area inside of the site for quite a bit of time at this point. Looks like they might be going for a default plant and just leave the Freezer closed, which very, very awkward to try and make work. Noski will find a kill in the process, though, and Bayou to falter. That's going to be the smoke. This is going to make things a lot more easier. Finally getting this wall open as well towards Freezer. Establishing a couple of lines of sight, as well as cutting off a rotation from White Hallway. Six going to see another shield inside as Habibi takes down Jarden. We were talking about how Jarden was able to bring things back earlier on, but now it's seeming like things are going to get all the more dire as things tick below 15 seconds. Diffuser now going down as well. It's going to get abandoned. Echo tries to hop onto his drone, but now it's an all-out hunt to try and find Nuttius, and they'll do it all over again, Belly, as another flawless round is confirmed. Three flawless rounds, four wins in a row on attack. So, someone's got to stop Katsu, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be big fans they anytime just, soon. They don't have the sauce, man. They, they don't have the sauce. Hey. <laughs> what's the secret to the sauce? What is it? What's the, what's the Krabby Patty formula? Tell me. I have no idea. Ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this, Sam? <laughs> what's How the do you beat sauce? Katsu, man? How? Um, you what's hope, your idea? You hope that they get disqualified? <laughs> that one minute came faster than ever. <laughs> How's it feel to get given a round and then only get one round on top? I of really that don't like under defensive. Um, side. so you take a look at big fans. Oh, by the way, it's halftime, so the roles are absolutely going to switch. And <sighs> Akar is rough be on Mozzie, and let's see how Mozzie's going to perform in this scenario. Um, big fans, what really puzzles me is the fact that okay, take a look at all the operators and setups that they did. Pretty much the same setup going into white. It, it wasn't a bad setup, but it was just the way that they defended it. You have yokai drones, you have toxic babes, Valk cams. Goo mines, but none of them mattered. None of them mattered. All of that utility essentially went to waste because Katsu, Toxic Babe was thrown literally into that cigar cubby. That was a really bad placement up there from the smoke player. Goo mines, um, player stepped on him, but it was way off site. So, okay, yeah, you're gonna stop and yeah, you're gonna take away a few HP, but in the long term, and you know, the grand scheme of things, how do you make those operators matter? I feel like with big fans for their setups on defense, especially upstairs, it was just uh, a lot of half effort. We kind of want to hold down Christmas. We kind of want to hold down Bar. Pick one, stick to it. Especially Pixel Spot setting that up with a shield with Jaeger. It's very difficult to get your way out because you have to make a sprint for the door. And you're playing against people that have a reaction time. So as soon as you step up, they're going to remove your head, and all of a sudden your Jaeger's dead. And he didn't really accomplish anything inside of Christmas. And that happened over and over again. And so my yeah, exactly. My so my advice to big fans is just pick something and hold that area. If you think Christmas is the most important, hold down Christmas. You think bar is the most important, hold down bar. But the scariest thing about that, they couldn't hold down Christmas or Bar. No, they couldn't hold saying. down Bar and White Hallway at the same time. No. And at the same time, we saw Katsu pinch him. We had a player creeping in behind Bar while, hey, that, which was Makarov. Meanwhile, the rest of the team, they're bullying the Jaeger into bathroom. Yep. And so when you trap a Jaeger in the bathroom, and Makarov is clearly on the flank. That's an easy win. Mm. Speaking of in the bathroom, Nettius with a little bit of drone play and still working his way outside the building, looking for Valk cams. He knows that there's a rumor on the third floor. But how are they going to act? We're going to find out soon. Definitely have to be worried about it, because Katsu could always have a burst of aggression at any given time. Definitely going to hear that repel as well on the southern windows. As actually, we're already going to have a run out. It's going to be Noski off of some information on a camera to find the nuttiest. Definitely not paying attention, even though he does have that electronic sensor. So that'll be spattered over the building as the body falters off to the ground. 
One of those Excaro spells going off. Habibi going to choose to abandon ship, which is a good idea. Don't want to stick around inside a bathroom when it's open like that. Much rather just leave the area. Meow going to get tagged up just a little bit from an evil eye. They don't exactly know where it is. He's actually getting shot from below. So kind of an awkward angle here. Excaro is going off somewhere else. Is actually going to throw a nitro cell in through the flooring here. Oh, and still, Makarov has so many angles opened up down below, and that's the beauty of that super shorty. Noski going to continue his reign of terror as Cordell it actually gets fragged out. Trying to shoot in through, but Noski with a triple kill already, oh. a quad kill. What a shot. Works his way into Christmas. Only one to find. He can't find the ace. Rotation coming through now as Jarden gets lit up. He finds six as well, trying to bring things back, but it's going to be Makarov to put a bullet in him, and Katsu continues their round advantage. We've seen how many? Two to three flawless rounds. We've seen almost an ace. Katsu, they're on fire. Also, another reason as to why I believe Katsu and Shrug are going to be a very good game if it does get down to that. Wow. Timzy actually teamed with two of these people. Oh, so he knows a lot. He knows of six, and he also knows Habibi. All right. Yeah, so. Hey, birds of a feather flock together. There you go. He's able to team with guys this good. That just lets everyone know how well he plays, and we've all seen what Shrug. Look, I'm not trying to kiss up to Tim Z at all, man. I'm just telling I mean, you, like, it still <laughs> blows me away that, like, people be like, no one plays supports anymore. And it's like, there's, like, three good supports I can name you right now that are FA or on a lower-tier team that could play your support role. But that's pretty much an NA thing, so... Um, yeah, you know, the regions, there, there's a lot of... Um, NA is about clout, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. It really is. You you, you have to be at least somewhat known. You, you have some people make it through at the end of the day, yeah. but... I mean, it, it's definitely it's definitely a clout show at sometimes. Yeah, and support players they don't get the shine, they don't get the prettiest place. That's your, difficult. Your team isn't performing at the highest level. The easiest person to point a finger at is the one that's not with the best stats. Yeah, and just to go off of that, I mean, right before Milan, where we saw Young have such a good tourney, everyone was like, "Oh, Young's wash. Young oh, hasn't been doing well. Yada yada yada." We haven't seen the yeah, Young that we want to see. Three. Young's been there the whole time, man. He's just on a support role doing his job. Let the man do him, okay? Trust yeah. me. Supports have, you know, feelings too. The supports <laughs> help you win games as well. I, I believe great support players win championships. Oh, Take absolutely. a look at Shepard. Defense wins championships, my friend. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Defense wins championships. So we're going to bring the site down low. And Natsuki is Valkyrie. She's going to have one more cam left in. Hey, shoot it down that fan. We know exactly where it's going now. Defense wins championships unless you're a Bears fan. Monka S, dude. Rip, rip my entire life. Defense wins championships unless you're on big fans. <sighs> yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah, they're having a really rough time of it right now, and I don't really know what to tell them at this point because it's Cafe. It's a very difficult map, and it really doesn't seem like on the offense they know what they want to go for. Jarden's been working on the same wall <laughs> for about 40 minute. seconds now. <laughs> yeah, so... Doing his best Bob the Builder impression, I would assume. But we're actually going to have Meow now taking quite a long angle with a hollow site instead of that ACOG. And John's actually going to get gunned. And I'm going to assume he was still working on that white garage. I don't really know exactly where he was, but he was still down in that general vicinity. Definitely going to lose his life, though. And Makarov's not going to get lit up very, very much. Able to rotate back up to the mid floor and play this out. Six also on Vigil, so there is quite a bit of roam game here. Are they going to be aware of a rotation down White once again? It doesn't seem like he tries to shoot him off. Six's location more than likely given up, and but it doesn't seem like anyone's is motion towards him by the silhouettes. And with the gunfire coming out from the Vigil player, they, they oh. didn't know exactly where he is, and Noski able to get a oh. nice double kill. One on the rotation, the other one at face value. Noski is on fire. Oh, now yeah, it's six, he's trying to join a party. Yes, the refrag happens, the trade is there. But in a 1v4, Katsu, they're not going to give it up. They're going to win round number eight as well. Once they started winning, they haven't lost a round. And this is a phenomenal showcase coming in from them. So, Vigil is on white stairs. And my question is, where's the drone play to, to tag him out? And even if he's Vigil and uses ability, you still know he's there. Well, yeah. Where's the pinch at? Well, no, it's not even that. I think the main thing is is that Makarov already came down the white stairs and killed somebody from there. Oh. He killed he killed killed Gridlock. So you can kind of put that into the mix going, okay, well their flank watch was kind of dead. <laughs> but you know. Oh no way. No. Six. He's stick not it. doing it. Stick it. Match stick point. Lord. You lock that Match in. Point. I better see a check mark. You six Yes! Do it. Yes, six! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Yes, my friend. Let's go. All right. We got right. the memes going. How many kills? But, but here's here's my thing. I'm saying he's getting two right now. It's a 2K. Anyways, 
So for big fans, I know I know that I enjoy having a good time on the desk. I love, you know, obviously saying things to other people's disparity. It happens, whatever. But I will tell you this, they're not bad players. You can tell that, you know, just by looking at how they yeah. play and stuff. Yeah, I, I, you can tell that by how, how they're playing and stuff. You can tell that a couple of things are happening. Number one, comms are not there. They've either deteriorated due to rage or tilt or whatever. Or, or excuse me, as well, as it just seems like the map knowledge really isn't there, especially on the offensive side. They knew quite a few angles on the defensive side, but their offense is not put together. The reason that they got that round on defense is because defense is inherently easier than offense because you don't have to coordinate nearly as much. On offense, your entire team has to have the same brain. And we have a spawn peak actually coming out from six right now. Is he going to be able to get a kill? He has no ACOG, he's rocking the reflex. Oh, six the timing. You should have just stayed there, my friend. You could have possibly oh. gotten a kill. It would have been Cordell as well. That's just so sucky. Unfortunate. Oski's going to take quite a bit of damage in the process as well. But Tashanka is still going to be in play, and I wonder if that machine gun is going to be put to use. But the Nitro Cell prepped and ready. Noski knows something that we don't, and he gets it! Jordan gets shut down for the first kill of the game. I mean, excuse me, the round. Such a great way to start off match point. Right oh, here. Six is looking to hop out the window for minibar. This is awesome. By the way, um, for those of you that are just tuning in and new to see, big fans, in order to keep this game alive, they cannot afford to lose. And with the jump out, and Six is feeling himself, yeah, big fans are going to have to go ahead and win four rounds straight. If they're able to do it, we go to overtime, and then it will be a best of three after that. They have to win As four if. straight on offense, though. That's if. Yeah. Four straight on offense on Cafe is not fun. And also, big fans definitely now know. Oh, oh, oh almost killed your teammate there, Cordell. Gotta watch out with that skeleton key, man. Friendly fire is a thing and it hurts. All quad on both fronts. A minute 40 seconds left in the round, and Katsu looking to put it in the bag. Big fans is not playing to win. They're playing not to lose, Valley. And what's uh, what what do you what do you say to that? They're playing extremely passive. They're not forcing the tempo. They're not facing fights. And they're waiting for Katsu to make the play. That's not what you do, especially if you're on attack. And we're seeing it now. You have Buck and Zofia on your team. You have IQ in the mix. You're supposed to be uh -oh. lining up uh -oh. these players uh -oh. for the kill. Uh -oh. And Makarov shouldn't be free to do that. Where's the pressure? Where's the presence? And you're going to have to step it up. Play to win. Do not play not to lose. And Noski able to get the double. Yes, the refract comes in. Big fans, they, they need a prayer. IQ has no help left. I love how Six said, uh, Foss will hint a sector by uh, Shuka Slash. That was good. Really well put. Not fair. Quick shots now coming in from IQ, but she's immediately going to get dispatched in Katsu. Going to win it out on the defensive side, 7-2. We blew it. Yeah, they've definitely got uh, a little bit of uh, VOD to watch. They need to go watch a lot of Cafe if they want to play this map. This map is complicated. That's why I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, the team just did not perform up to snuff. Cafe is a very difficult map, and Kasu definitely knows their angles comparative to where big fans do not. Naski, 11 and 1. Yep. He's going to love that Siege GG. Oh, he's going to love that. 11 and 1, my man? That's 11 KD. That's yeah. like a rating of like 1.9. That's insane. That's pretty nutty. So, um, great job for Kasu as they're going to win the first game of the day against big fans. And, um,. Next, we're going to have Shrugging and Shook Squad. Mm -hmm. What are your main takeaways right now? Of this matchup? Yes. The uh, win. I mean, really, it just comes down to the fact that big fans w just did not seem at all prepared for Cafe. They had one setup on bar that required two deployable shields. They're playing like kind of the new shield meta. We've seen a couple of teams adapt this in where they're prioritizing these shields just because they're so good with the slots in them being able to see and pre-fire. But uh, Katsu had quite a bit of soft destruction and explosives to be able to deal with that as well as once they played into it once, they already knew exactly where the shield setups were going to be. So they just immediately punished it and they recognized out what big fans were doing with a lot of their site setups, which was playing even down to when they had like a 2v4, people off site. So they were just holding flanks, waiting for that freebie to come in, claim him, make it a 3v1, and then you just claim the last one. It's pretty easy peasy from there. This game was technically a 7-1 big yeah, fans with the, the first round because of a um, DQ from you know, Katsu not being ready. And the first round that they actually won on their own, I'm going to say that they mostly relied on the kills from Maestro. From they caught him off guard as well. They with caught him off guard. When Maestro didn't get those kills in the next round, the, the white hold wasn't strong, especially to play behind shield. 
And like I said before, Jaeger is going to have to do better in that scenario. I mean, if, if just you, don't play there, just play white just stairs. Back up. Yeah, there's back a reason up. you don't see people play Pixel by themselves. It's because you you're just a freebie. You or just die. Hiding in bathroom with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, we've even seen that. We've seen smoke with two reinforcements there. Just play right in the corner and go. If you come to the door, you die. I have an M590, yes. and guess what? You don't. <laughs> One shot kill up yep. close. Yeah. But let's go ahead and interview a player from the winning team. It's going to be Habibi from Katsu. Habib. Yep. What is Yo, this special oh, effect it, in your background? <laughs> it's just a blur. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't even use Skype. <laughs> it just had it on. <laughs> It's, it's like an <laughs> Instagram filter. Terrible. What's going on, Habibi? How you feeling? I'm doing all right, man. How about yourself? I'm doing great. So we saw a pretty dominant performance. But what took the game so long to start, man? Why did you guys make us wait so long for that? Man, I'm sorry. It was um something uh, messed up in Noski's computer. You know, we had to get that fixed. Okay. And, you know, sorry about the wait. We really do apologize. But... We, we ended up playing the game regardless, and we gave you guys a show. With ultimately a 7-1 win, the first round that you lost when you guys were playing, I was telling Sam, I, I chalked it up mostly to the aggressive maestro peaks up top. Mm -hmm. What did you guys do to overcome that and just be dominant outright after that? So what we did was um, we just kind of like adapted to the other team's play style. You know, um, we don't have much on them currently, but it gives us like a round just to prepare, you know, for next round. You know, do what we got to do, and um, we just tightened up the comms as well, because comms were like all over the place the first round. But <laughs> a lot of <laughs> Xbox that, we... callouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been here before. You've been here I, I before, have. Habibi. You guys were expecting to win the finals. You didn't. This time around, what's changed? What can we expect from your team this time around? Is Makarov gonna get caught slacking in the finals again, or <laughs> did you guys fix those mistakes? Nah, so we did we did a lot to prepare, you know, like VOD reviewing, all that, dry runs. Um, we feel really confident. Ah, confident. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's fine. Um, <laughs> we feel pretty confident about going into the next uh, final game, and just um, hopefully we all we give it our all and uh, make it to that close playoff final. From what we've playoff. yeah, what we've seen so far, that was a dominant performance. You guys were unstoppable. Thank you so much. Hopefully, hopefully. You guys win the finals tonight, and hopefully I can see you at the end of the night. But with the last segment of this interview, go ahead and say whatever you <laughs> want to the chance, the viewers, your fans, whoever's out there. You know, I just want to say to, you know, the, the small majority of, of the people supporting us, you know, we really appreciate it. We hope that you continue the support. If you want to support the players, just follow us on Twitter, you know, keep, catch up with us. And um, I really appreciate you all, and I love you all so much. Habibi, I hope so you I love me say. too, man, because I love you too. I, lo I love you too. I, I love you too, Veli. You're like, you're my idol, you know? <laughs> I love you. You're, you're like, I love you too, bro. Listen, good luck, and hopefully we'll see you at the end of the night, okay? All right, thank you so much, man. You have a nice night. You too. So, Habibi, he said he was nervous, and um, you know what? That's going to go away soon. He's yeah. going to have to get comfortable because the finals is going to be something. Um, Shrug, they're going to be playing against Shit Squad. And if they go against Shrug, he's going to need his nerves in check. To be completely honest, it's just something that you have to be there and you have to have been there and done that. Like, yeah. there, there's no chance to get rid of nervousness. You know what I mean? That's not something that happens, Chad. You can't just, you know, show up and be like, oh, I'm completely not nervous. This is my first time doing this and I've oh. got thousands of people watching me. That doesn't happen. Trust me. I've been doing this job for a long time now. I can tell you that even at the Raleigh Major, we weren't even in the crowd and I still got nervous at some points in time. Like, you know what I mean? We get the shakes too. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I got those CCS shakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, it's 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 nerve wracking, man. You got a lot of eyes on you. You know, you don't want to mess up. You don't want to, you know, miss. Want to be perfect. You don't want to misspeak. That happens a lot. That was a big thing for personally me early on, and I couldn't even imagine having you know thousands and thousands of people sit there and just critique my gameplay. You know. Yeah, you're trying to win something big. He yeah. wants to go to land. You saw it on yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, dude, Habibi's awesome. Can I just tell you how genuine that kid is? Go ahead. And then fantastic. I want to hear your MVP pick after. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, you could tell in the interview, man. Extremely humble. He just, He's just happy to play the game. He's happy they're winning. They're doing well. They look really good. Yeah. And I can tell you, that team knows their angles, man. They're good. They know their angles. They killed two people through that angle downstairs in Pillars where you open the hatch and then Echo shoot off. through uh, the humidor wall to make it soft or excuse me to make a line of sight they killed two people in it one round and then he killed another one from it the exact ne the exact next round yeah so you know when stuff like that happens you can tell it's a little bit of you know younger players that you're going up against that didn't yes. get calmed out and go hey he's holding the angle downstairs from pillars we need to worry about that next time just have people walking in so they definitely know what they're doing with angles and everything else we just need someone to actually 
pressure them because right now that was not that a, was a pressure by big all. fans. No, they were more blowing air around than they were actually you know, creating pressure. It is. It was all a learning experience. But let's go ahead and talk about the MVP so far. Sam, I'm going to give it to you. You're going to give it to oh, me? Yes, I'm going to give it to you. All right, I got to give it to the young blood. I got to give it to Makarov. Dude is fantastic. He's been coming up. A lot of people have their eyes on him as uh, one of the, uh, well, future pro players. So we'll have to see if that can possibly happen. That's what I've heard from around the scene. So don't take my word for it. Take the community's word for it. But he definitely performed tonight, and he showed off well, his prowess mechanically, we had a couple of flicks there that were yeah. just on point, not a single pixel off, and uh, I feel like he's definitely worth that MVP. All right, I'm going to give my MVP to the one and only Noski. Why not? Noski was lights out. Look, oh, man. Look, that guy. bring the stats up. Noski, he was 11 and 1. 11 and 1. 2 0 entry, 88% cost. Was that 100% cost, though? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, <laughs> that one time he died was everything. Yeah. <laughs> but Nowski was my standout MVP because why not? You die one time, you get 11 kills. But Makarov, 9 and 1 as well. Habibi, 6 and 2. Mean Green, 5. Wow. 6 just got his bell rung. That's man. insane. Or 6. The Ashen Jaeger main was the one that had the worst stats. <laughs> but 6 hey, don't was talk. always in the thick of the action. Don't talk about my Ash Jaeger main like that, all right, bro? Come on. <laughs> some right. respect on that name. So that's pretty much it so far. You guys see the stats, and unfortunately, big fans, they didn't show up to the party. There's going to be big fans, man, because they're going to be watching from the sidelines. <laughs> Let's look at the total set. Wow. Whoa. So. Well, then. One thing is not like the other. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a very nice way to put it. Yeah, 37 kills at 10. Yep. Eight, eight, Wait, eight hold opening on. kills at Hold on. Carry the one. It's almost four times more kill for the one side. All right. So there you have it. That's all I got to say. That's it. You guys can uh, you guys can say your own thing. And we're going to send it right to a break so we can get to the games right after this. We'll see you soon.